It is called the Devil's Stone, because if you run around it seven times, they say the Devil himself will appear. Stay away from Phoenix. They say the devil took his soul. Stay away from Phoenix. The mind that under his control. Stay away from Phoenix. They say the devil took his soul. Stay away from Phoenix. The mind under his control. Stay away from Sea They say the devil took his soul. Stay away from Sea Hicks. Or end up under his control. Legend says, if you run round these stones seven times, the devil himself will appear. Now, as a, as a kid, was I brave enough? Was I foolish enough to test the legitimacy of this legend? Absolutely not. I always had respect for these stones. And now, almost 50 years later, I'm a professional paranormal investigator. And even after the things that I've seen, things that I've witnessed, things that I've done, would I go back and test that legend and run around them stones seven times? Absolutely not. Because I've learned in my travels that some legends and some stories are just that. They're just stories meant to scare children. But some, some legends are based on fact, are based on an event, something that took place that was so powerful that it allowed that legend to be born and those stories are carried on. Hello, my name is Sandria Mosses. I've been a professional medium for over 20 years. If you take just one piece of advice from me today, you'll take the advice to stay away from the Devil's Stone. The energy admits is pure evil and no good will come of it. Everyone that messes with it shall perish. Now, I have investigated some of the UK's top paranormal sites, and the area around the Devil's Stone is very eerie. Do not underestimate its power. I visited the Devil's Stone last Halloween. It was unsettling and made me feel very nervous. If you're still intending on investigating the legend, be careful. Be very careful. Right, so that's some of the videos people have sent us after our visit to the stones earlier. What are your thoughts now? It's just a made up story to scare kids and bring the tourists in. But that's the point of this class, isn't it? To discuss the myths and the legends and have that adult conversation about it, pros and cons? I believe it. Say Hicks ran around the stones seven times on the night of the summer solstice of the year 2000. And from that night on, he claimed to have seen everything, including the devil himself. Yeah, and where's he now? I'll tell you where he is. He's in Florida, sipping on the martini, laughing at us all. His family were caretakers at the Witham. They spent most of the time there, until the night of Halloween. They disappeared. Some say they got taken by the devil. It's just a fantastic campfire story to get asses on seats at the Devil's Stone. I'm doing this investigation to improve my grade. After that, Hicks can do one. Right, ahead of next week, carry on your research. And I will be in touch about the meeting time soon. See you later. Ooh, watch out for say a hit. Come on. <laughs> hey, miss. Where's Max? He's probably late, or say Hicks got in. Sure. Take his notepad. Oh, left me bag. We wait for us. We're there. What's 
this about? This isn't even funny anymore. I swear, it's got Don't, nothing to no, do with me. Why have you done this? I haven't done it. Yes, you have. It wasn't me. What did you do that for? I haven't done it. Hey. Hi, Maria. Hi. It's uh, Dean from the local paper. Are you still okay talking to me? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So, uh, what do you know about Saya Hicks? Well, Saya Hicks was a, a, a troubled soul. I mean, his home life during this time paints a worrying picture. I, I've been researching this style since I was 15, and, and a few other cases like it, actually, and... I mean, the more I find out, the crazier it gets. What, what do you mean? So, Saya truly believed he was being controlled by the devil. I mean, he, he kept a diary and, and every page had 666 written on it. And he drew pictures of, of himself wearing a disturbing pumpkin mask. And then, and then there, were, there were other pictures of him, of him, of him killing p- 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 people. So he needed help. Well, you know, he did actually, he did visit a local psychiatrist in his teens, but um, unfortunately I um, ha- haven't been able to get hold of any records of those conversations. This doesn't add up, Maria. Yeah. What happened to the Hicks family? Um, I, d- I don't know, but, but if say Hicks returns, the local police must be ready. Because that once teenager is now a fully grown man who is very, very dangerous. I mean, just think, think Michael Myers, but, but real. Yes, and, and the other thing, oh, uh, I have one more, but um, there's, there's someone at my door. Um, just very quickly, give me one moment, and then one moment, please. Hey, hey Maria, right I've, got, I've got another call coming in. I've got to take it. You take care. Thanks for your time. See you soon. Sears friend. As I said in the message, I'm doing a project about the devil's stoning, Sears story. Well, growing up as kids, we were we were good mates. He was he was, he was always a bit strange, mm. but loved Halloween. It wasn't really problem or Were you there when you ran around the stone? Yeah, I was there, yeah. yeah. Some lads dead and to run around the stone seven times and he, he, he did it. But things changed. Changed? Yeah. In he, what way? He changed. He, he, he told me the devil was talking to him and word got out. It wasn't me, but his family started getting grief off people and What's your take on it all? Do you think it's all legit or do you think it's just a teenager doing it all for attention? Or? I, I don't know, but his family, his family were worried. They were concerned. But then one day they all just up and left. They, they all went. His family, him. Never, never, never saw them again. What do you think happened? I don't, I don't know. Um, I, do you know, I, I don't think I should be talking here because it, there's too much press attention now with everything, so I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Time. Look, good, good luck with your, your project, but please don't, don't message me again, alright? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. This is Alan Knowles here on Bishop FM. This afternoon, a group of local students are investigating the spooky legend of Sayer Hicks at the Witham and Barnard Castle. Good luck, rather them than me.
Lads, this would be the perfect place for someone to jump out on you and scare you. Bruh! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Right, shall have a look around? Yeah. Is this security guard coming on what? Oh, hey. Oh. Ah, hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the weather. You know, you guys are really lucky because nobody's been allowed to stop here overnight since, um, well, you know. Now, walkie talkie. If uh, you need to get in touch with me, give me a shout. My office is uh, down the front there. Anything you need, just shout. And uh, I'm going to be locking the doors, the front door and the back door. So, you know what to do. I'm on channel three on the walkie talkie if you need me. Thank you. You were the only one to be here. Come on, a little bit of respect. Let's go and have a look around. Come on. Hey, you shouldn't be here. Ava's 
Breaking news, the road outside the Witham in Barnard Castle has been closed and police are on the scene. to let her live. It's just going to make the legend go viral. Well done, Sarah.
devil's stone. Stay away from the devil's stone.